Okay, that took too long because I was dumb and couldn't figure out how to spell calendar correctly. Uh, hint, there's an extra A in it. It's D-A-R. I'm, I'm stupid and I was saying D-E-R and couldn't figure out why it wouldn't let me use it. But anyway, I've got the lamps, all three of them. I'm going to put them all in archaeology. Uh, there's one. There's two. That was experience and this is probably also not going to be a whole lot. 2,000. All right, cool. That's 3,500 experience. Not bad. Uh, two more archaeology levels. Was that really worth it? No, no, I don't think that was really worth it, like, at all. Ah, like I said last time, I'm just going to get started on archaeology and make that my life now. All right, that's 40 archaeology, just roughly missed right there. Oh, I'm dumb. See, I thought these cost points, but no, the points just, they accrue. So it's like a, it's like an unlock thing. So I get all, I'm going to be getting all of this no matter what. Honestly, that one's pretty dope. <laughs> I like that one. But yeah, so you just get these. Well, I'm really dumb. Also, I need <laughs> 20 combats to use this stuff. All right, cool. Oh. Okay, well, that makes sense. This guy's level 33. I'm not going to be able to kill him, am I? Okay, so I tried a few times, but I can't kill that little level 33 ghoul. So I'm going to take a quick break from archaeology. I need to get some dungeoneering and fishing levels anyway. That will also inevitably get me some combat levels. So we're just going to kind of knock out three birds with one stone, and then can go back, kill the ghoul, go do some archaeology at Everlight, and we'll be good. Uh, yes, I would like to make a note that in the last video I said uh, complexity one fishing. I meant complexity two fishing. Jesus, the speed. I mean, I know this is nerfed compared to what it used to be like, but this is pretty good. Uh, it's a lot faster than, um, it's a lot faster than doing this in the overworld. Well, I just found Skaldron and the frozen bear pelt, the polar bear pelt, one of the two, uh, for the, um, the sagas, and if I remember correctly, the sagas are pretty good chunks of experience, so I might have to stop and do one of those to help with this grind. Like, I've been transported back to 2009. I'm running around in legacy mode, smacking rats with a mall, fishing in Damonheim, and I'm having a blast. Well, now that I know that these progress points are, well, progress points and not a currency, infinite run energy? Sign me up. There's 20 fishing, almost there. I need 28. Oh, finally, 28 fishing. That's done. Um, I'll move on to complexity six dungeons and just knock out the rest of dungeoneering. I'm only eight levels away. Shouldn't take that long. Boom. That is, well, uh, two dungeoneering levels. That's 36 dungeoneering. So that is the fishing and dungeoneering out of the way. I can get back to archaeology so that I can get back to fire making. The reason I'm doing any of this. God, I hate it here. Oh, wow. I two hit him. Okay, cool. Bye. All right, finally back on track. So, it's been a long time since I've played the All Fired Up Beacon minigame. For those who don't know, the way you do this properly is to load up each beacon with 20 logs of your choice. Uh, magic or Elder Logs will get you the longest time at 18 minutes. Regular Logs are like 13 minutes. So... You load up each of these, and then you also give five extra logs to the Keeper, the NPC that stands near each of these beacons. Uh, and they can extend the time. Now, the problem here is that the most of these Keepers, except for the first two, have extra requirements. Now, a lot of these requirements are locked behind quests, like Hero's Quest, Family Crest, um, Land of the Goblins... There's a lot. It's a lot. And it would take me a lot of time to do so. Now, if I were to ignore the keepers, that would give me less time to get 10 beacons lit. But it also requires a lot less of me. Um, with no keepers helping out, aside from the two that don't have requirements, because why not? Um, all I would need is 31 prayer, 
Land of the Goblins, still. Uh, 56 smithing and 42 construction. That's not bad. Land of the Goblins is not great. Um, but at least I don't also have to do Garden of Tranquility, Family Crest, Heart of a Tale of Two Cats, um, get 53 Prayer, Heroes Quest, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff that I would have to get if I were to use the Keepers. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is I'm not 100% sure if I can do all 10 beacons without the Keepers. I assume I can, especially if I use something like U-Logs or above, which I would... I would have access to, to uh, magic logs by this point. I need 79 fire making to light 10 beacons. And I that would that would mean four levels of... of uh, I would definitely have 75 woodcutting for magic logs at this point. So ultimately, I would be able to use 18 minutes at my disposal. Um, we're going to have to see how this goes. I'm not 100% sure if this is possible or not. Uh, I might be missing something on how keepers work. But for now, we're going to try it. I need to get these requirements anyway, so if it turns out that I also need to get the keepers, otherwise I can't get this done, then fine. I'll do the other stuff, but I'm not looking forward to it. So, this means one of the things I need to put on my list is the quest, uh, Land of the Goblins, since it's one of the only quests I actually need. And it also requires 30 prayer just to do it, so 30 to 31, no big deal. Um, and it has, like, seven sub-quests I need to do. I pretty much need to do the entire goblin quest line to do this. Um, I'm not... <laughs> I'm getting really angry just looking at this, looking at it on the wiki, but uh, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna get started on that, get a couple of these quests out of the way before I call it a night, I think. We'll see. All right, first quest on the list is Goblin Diplomacy. I'm not even going to bother trying to buy the dies. I'm just going to make them myself. Is there only one redberry bush out here? I swear I saw another one at one point, like, after I even needed it. I was like, oh, there is more than one bush out here. That's cool. That's good to know. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm just, uh, oh, there's one right here. I'm dumb. Oh, well, it's 25 points per quest point, and this quest gives you five of them for no reason. Cool. Awesome! Worth it! These points are going to come in real handy for getting some of these grinds out of the way. Okay, next up is the other super easy quest to do here. It's a fishing contest. God, I love some of these older quests. I'm supposed to be doing this whole thing where I, like, talk to an expert fisherman, and, like, you know, learn the secrets of fishing and all that stuff and find out why, you know, this guy's like a vampire and all that crap. But instead, what I can do is just put a garlic in a wall pipe and um, just complete the quest. I can skip most of the dialogue if I know what I'm supposed to do. And there we go, quest complete. Uh, good amount of fishing experience, not like I really need it anymore. Uh, access to a shortcut that I also don't need, uh, but I do need this quest for other quests, so awesome. Turns out I'm already stuck. I can't do the next two quests without getting some agility and mining and thieving levels. Uh, so to hell with it, I'm gonna go do that real quick. 10 agility, 15 agility, 10 mining, 15 mining, and 17 mining. All right, next up is looking at my little cheat sheet here. Uh, not crafting, the other one. Thieving. They're not related. I know. I have to get thieving next. Uh, two thieving, but more importantly, 2,500 progress points, which is about to make my life a hell of a lot easier. God damn, they even give you the new protean and stuff. The the cooking, runecrafting, and herbler ones. Wow. Five thieving, and I just realized I should probably be doing vegetable stalls instead of pickpocketing these idiots. And ten thieving. And that is fourteen thieving, and we're done here. That covers both quests that have a thieving requirement. So I don't think I'm going to need any more thieving. But that does mean I now have all the requirements for the Lost Tribe. Which, since, well, I mean, I'm already in Lumbridge, I might as well get started. Okay, and that's the Lost Tribe complete. Uh, another 3,000 mining experience should be handy, because uh, I've got to get a lot of smithing done. Why does the screen keep blinking? Anyway. 20... 22 mining. Yeah, cool. I'll take it. 
All right, and that's going to be enough for me tonight. We've still got some quests I have to knock out. Um, quite a few, honestly, but they're relatively short and or easy to get the requirements for. It's really just going to be the last one that's a pain in the ass, and then getting the rest, the rest of the requirements necessary to complete all the beacons. And then, of course, getting 83 archaeology. Can't forget about that. Um, but yeah, you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely join the Discord for more. Um, I'm going to get this bread. I want this cape. Honestly, at this point, I actually want rank 1 fire me. And honestly, I might just do it. Anyway, that's enough for me. Have a good night. Goodbye.